Drop in your bag. Thighs out. Oh, what happened? Get them angles. Hey y'all, so I'm super duper excited to do my first ever cooking channel. Today I'll be making lamb chops, mashed potatoes, and asparagus. Um, for people that do not cook, this may look like a lot of ingredients. However, it's not. And because I know that it may look like a lot of ingredients to people that do not cook, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the lamb chops first, then I'll do the mashed potatoes, and then I'll do the asparagus. I don't want to overwhelm anybody. Maybe somebody just want to learn how to make lamb chops. Maybe somebody just want to know how to make homemade mashed potatoes or just asparagus. So I'm going to do things step by step for you guys just to make them easier. First up, we have our lamb chops. So I've transferred the lamb chops into a pan because I'm going to put them in the oven with a little bit of water and on 350 um, just so they can be tender. So first we have our yellow mustard. We have our chef based seasoning salt. Now ladies, you can use, use ladies gents, you can use whatever kind of seasoning salt you desire to. Then we have our rosemary leaves. You can use fresh rosemary. Unfortunately, I didn't have none today and I wanted to show you all a cooking video. Next, I have some Jamaican curry powder. I'm going to put a little bit of that on there. And then I have barbecue applewood seasoned by a black owned business called Dash of Daisy. And then I also have Dash of Daisy honey garlic pepper seasoning. Um, and, and also, I also use honey, honey, any kind of honey you want to. And then I use Dash. Now you can find this in any grocery store um, or maybe Amazon, but these right here, um, this is a black owned business. So you can find them on her website. And this is also black owned as well. Um, if you don't have that, you're like, oh, I got some lamb chops, I'm going to make them. Use regular seasoning salt. You can use whatever kind of barbecue, apple, um, applewood, or honey, or something, you know, just to improvise. I know everybody's palate is different. When I make lamb chops, I like them to be, like, sweet and savory when they're going in the oven. So, I'm going to start off with the chef based seasoning salt. It's only a little bit left, which is fine. We don't need much because I don't really like seasoning my food with salt so that's good because lamb chops need a lot of seasoning in my perspective and then next up i'm only using a little bit of curry powder the holes are big but so just going to sprinkle 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 and then we have the dash this is not no salt so you can do whatever you want to do with it. This is mine after I put it on there. And next up, I have the barbecue apple wood. So, here we go. And I'm not going to put that much of barbecue apple wood on there. And a leftover that's in the pan, I'm just going to turn these around and then I'm gonna, I'll show you guys. So, next up, we have our unfresh rosemary, LOL. But, yeah, because I really like fresh rosemary, but I guess it still gives it, a, it still gives it the effect, okay? And then lastly, we have the honey garlic pepper that we're going to use for it. Mmm, this looks good. I'm cracking up. Talking about it looks good and it's just a season. So, mustard. Mustard, mustard, mustard. The taste of the mustard will not be in there. It's kind of like a tenderizer, but mustard just does something. So I won't put the mustard in there yet because remember I told you guys I want to flip it. You see all that excess seasoning? We're going to put the bottom of them in there and we're going to let them get seasoned like that. Because you know, we ain't wasting, we ain't wasting no season, seasoning over here, okay? So y'all see it? See? You see, they look all nice and well seasoned and things like that. So now we have the lamb chops. You see, they're well seasoned. And um, now, this is when I'm going to add the mustard. Um, I'm going to put a little bit. Well, this might like a lot to y'all, but, you know, once they get tenderized. And y'all, I'm so sorry. I forgot to say that I put peppers and onions on my food. So, you see, cut them up. They're all nice and pretty and colorful. So, yeah, you know. We going to put these peppers on this good, 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 good lamb chops, okay? I didn't realize how many peppers and onions I had, but 
you know what we gonna do it anyway and yeah because it's going in the oven i have water i got the smallest glass i have and i'm just gonna i always pour outside of like where i see the food and i'm gonna pour directly on it so put some water in there and now i'm going to put them in the oven um, I'm going to put them in the oven on 350 and I'm going to let them cook until I start to be, start to see them get a little brown at the top and then I'm going to take them out. Once I take them out, I'm going to put more water, more water in them because with this, this type of seasoning, because it's so thick and there's enough seasoning, it's going to allow me to make a gravy and I'm going to add flour to it and I'm going to show y'all, just want to give y'all a heads up what I'm doing. So yeah, and it's time for them to go in the oven on 350. So next up we have our mashed potatoes. I'm only doing a small portion, so I have two potatoes. Yes, I'm going to leave the skin on them, okay? So I'm gonna clean them after this, you know, it's just water. Then I have Parmesan cheese, I have canned milk, salted butter, and salt and pepper. Y'all are like, where the rest of the ingredients for our mashed potatoes? I um, grew up with a grandmother from the South, so her mashed potatoes was simple, salt and pepper, butter, salt and pepper, listen, salt and pepper, butter, milk, stir them up, delicious okay you had to do all that extra stuff especially if you're a beginner so i have this butter right here and um for this because only two i'm going to use two teaspoons of butter so i'm just going to cut it right here and bada boom bada bang so i just wanted to share the ingredients that i use so i am going to boil these um i did poke holes in them because it's i'm not sure if you can see i did poke holes in them and i'm going to boil them and then i'm going to show all you guys the ingredients together how I whip them, and then we just gonna serve them, okay? Yum, they're out of the oven. They've been there for about half an hour now. Y'all see how the how the um, mustard got darker? Yep, exactly how I wanted it to. This little pepper burned a little bit, but that's okay. So like I said, we was gonna add a gravy because you know, got some mashed potatoes. So excuse me, my all-purpose flour look. Um, I'm going to add some all-purpose flour. And here, see, just gonna add some. And then I got like this girl crazy. Nope, I'm not. I'm getting ready to stir it around. So I added the flour. Remember I told you how you gotta season them well enough where so you can um, move them around in the back of the season. I flipped them around. Look at that. Excuse the glare. Look at that seasoning. Look at it. Do y'all see it? And y'all see the gravy, how it's a little light, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I like sweet and savory. Put some honey on these bad boys. Yep, and I'm gonna put some honey on them. Now this is the last time that they're gonna go in the oven and I'm gonna leave them in the oven for about 45 minutes so they can be nice and tender and, and kind of sort of falling off the bone. So we got that, yeah. And then we have our mashed potatoes right here in the pot. They're um, beginning to get a little soft, so I'll show y'all how they're going to be made. Hmm, yep, yes. And then after that, I'm going to show you the asparagus because that's the quickest thing. Y'all see, I'm just excited to show you because they're going to taste so, so good. Hey, this is the last video before the grand finale. We have our asparagus. I will be seasoning it with seasoning salt. I have a garlic butter sauce um, just because I don't have any more garlic, so I'll use the sauce. I have my lemon. I'm going to sprinkle that on there. Saison. Back again with the dash and back again with the other dash, the garlic, onion, herbs. I'm just going to put it in the pan for you guys. Now, the pan that I'll show you guys, don't judge me because this pan is about 40 years old and it does exactly what it needs to do, okay? My pan that I have, don't judge me about. So, I added all of the seasonings. Now, we're going to go in just with a squirt of lemon. Y'all hear the pan start to get a little riled up. Yeah, that's exactly what I need to fix it to. Um, and then, also, I decided to add this Himalayan pink soil, okay? Yes, here we go. Now we just gonna toss these around. We wanna take the crunch out of them, but not make them salty, okay? Lamb chops, I done moved them around a few times. And then I just sit them in the saison, the garlic butter, and everything. And I just gonna get that nice taste. I'm not gonna burn them. See how they're starting to get a little dark right there? They're gonna be real good. Use my alarm system that constantly goes off obnoxiously. But y'all see how nothing is sticking to this pan. I really wish I could tell y'all where I got it from. Is that this pan is probably 40, 60 years old. Next up, we got our good, good, simple 
yet effective mashed potatoes. Y'all see my mashed potatoes? Y'all see how it fell apart by itself? Now I got this right here and I'm going to mash it. And you see how that potato just came apart. So see all the steam. That was doing exactly what I needed to do. Do y'all remember our ingredients for our mashed potatoes? We have salt. I lost the other salt. I'm cranking up y'all. I don't know where is that. Salt, the Parmesan cheese, canned milk, pepper, and whatever else is in this season of salt. Just to give it a little oomph. And here we go. I put the butter in here. Y'all know the two teaspoons of butter. Now what I'm going to do is start adding the milk in there. It's coming out slowly, which is good because there's only two potatoes. And then I'll show y'all my finishing touch.